Bill, that was wonderful, as usual. Did you hear someone said, yay, Bill? Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. Well, no, it's on. Hello, Mr. Twinkie, how are you tonight? <laughs> I'm pissed off, Toth. How, how come? Life sucks. I know, I know, but you, you People just... suck, the weather sucks. But you gotta go on. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, to cheer you up tonight, we have two very exciting guests on the uh, agenda and the list. Yeah, who are they? Well, first of all, we have, uh, with all the JFK hype with the movie coming out, yeah. have you seen it yet? No, 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 uh, I don't have much time for that. You know, I'm very busy, man. I'm trying to write a new stage show and all. Well, Oliver Stone couldn't come, so we have Lawrence Tilwiller, who has a, a different theory about what happened. He, he thinks that the whole conspiracy thing and even the Lee Harvey Oswald is, is, is like a crock, and he has a new a new twist to the whole thing, so we'll be interested in hearing what he has to say. And a flaming hot band out of the uh, Chicago? Sure. Is it, or is it the suburbs? Chicago. Chicago. And they're the Mystery Girls. All right. The Mystery Girls. But, fun, but funny, but funny that there's no girls in the band. Oh. <laughs> exactly. But. Oh. I don't know. Do you guys want to be girls? Oh, oh okay. Well, that's that's. Cool. Hey, what's your phone number? <laughs> <laughs> well, so we're gonna take a break right now and come back with uh, the mystery girls. It's a bit late. Oh yeah. And uh, so, Mr. Twinkie, and uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Now you're supposed to clap. <laughs> Because I have to shut off Bill's machine. No one knows that. Because we don't have any crew. How are you, mystery girl? Fine, how are you? My name's Jim. I'm Scott. Hi, Scott. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. <coughs> I met you guys before the show. That's so you're right. the mystery girls, huh? And you're half not, of them. Half of them. And there's two more, and it's Aaron, who plays the guitar, and Tom, who plays the bass. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you guys doing tonight? I'm fine, how are you? No, you, um, no, it's here, you talk to me. Oh, I was asking I him how he was. I, he's busy picking his nails okay. or something. I'm all right. He's doing like hygiene. Well, he's, uh, he was a science project, <laughs> and he's like the bright lights. Really? Yeah, affect him. Cool. That's why he's so pale. <laughs> are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you guys are uh, a band, and you play in Chicago and around the... Uh, Tri-state area. The tri-state area. We played in uh, Indiana, Iowa. Wisconsin. That's a cute hat. I think so. My grandma. Should I take it? You want to sport it? If I could. Hey, feel free. So now, like the mystery girls. <laughs> the mystery. Who? There what does go, that mean? There you go. There you go. What does that mean? I think it means. Um, <laughs> what does it mean? It's just that. Oh man, I was just saying. No, think of how I was thirsty. It's been I would. A big glass for a big guy, that's right. So the, so the mystery girls. Yes. Well, well you're not answering my questions, <laughs> I, I and I'm going to start kicking, okay. kicking ass in a couple of minutes. <laughs> what kind of stuff you guys do? Like rock, country? No, not country. Rock and roll. Rock yeah, and roll. Uh, yeah, just like uh, Any polka? basic rock and roll. That guy's basic fired. Rock. I, think I know. He, <laughs> we've been trying to get rid of him for years. He will not leave. But uh, Just rock and roll, like bar room, honky tonk, rock and roll. Cool without a piano. When did you start up? Four years ago. Four. Wow. So you guys have been doing it for a while. That's right. Is this your only source of income or is this like a... No, we all have cheap day jobs. <laughs> you all work at a record store, don't you? Uh, no. Except Tom. That's right. I'm a toothpick maker. Are you? Yeah. That's in demand with yeah. this recession. People well, really need know, toothpicks. It's a really good business to be in, actually. Have you seen my socks? They're Look bananas. Them. That's right. Look at get a shot of them. That's pretty. Kind of nice. You go Let's go for this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's in the future for the Mystery Girls? You guys got a record or a CD or? A yeah, we got a record coming out. Well, a record CD tape, if you will. Do I look like a spaz? <laughs> no, you look like uh, like uh, I should give you some money or something. Okay. When does it come out? 
It comes out in uh, February. Third week of February. Yes. My grandma made that. Watch out. I know. That's very pretty. <laughs> She's a holy lady. <laughs> like Swiss cheese. So, very cool. Well then, so you guys are going to do a song for us tonight. We're going to do a, a little number for you. Hi, you doing tonight, Mr. Twinkie? Pretty good, Toth. How are you? Oh, I'm okay. I'm a little bit warm now that I put this cap on my head. What do you think of it? What the hell is it? This is like some sort of circus sideshow I'm seeing here. No, no, it's the Mystery Girls. Oh, 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 oh. That's that band that's supposed to be on the show, huh? With no girls in it? Yeah, I got Kevin Jr. and Scotty Baby. That's How you doing? Howdy. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's the Mystery what the Girls. hell am I? They're kind How come of... there's no girls in this band? Why are there no girls on this show? It's a mystery. Oh, I get it now. That's clever. Oh, uh, yeah. Clever, clever, clever. Are you guys in school at all? Because that's pretty clever. <laughs> we were. I was. You were? But I Probably at the left. time. Yeah, preschool, yeah. probably, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and your own fellow bandmates are laughing at you. That's uh, OK. Yeah, <laughs> like they have any room to laugh. <laughs> Scum buckets. <laughs> we are. Yeah, we are. We had our lips locked around a uh, exhaust pipe of a bus before the show, so we're, oh. a bit, we're a bit loopy. Okay, I understand. If That's you a will. good word. Uh, but they're going to play for us tonight, Mr. Twinkie. Yeah, I'm real impressed. <laughs> what well, kind of music you guys play, huh? We already went Rock. Over. Rock and roll, huh? No show tunes or anything? <laughs> yeah, no. Twinkie was a big Vegas. He's a big Vegas, ex-Vegas. Uh, is it ex or Well, is it? you know, I still go out there in ta Tahoe and all, and... Every once in a while, I get back up on the old stage, maybe sing uh, my way and all. <laughs> He's getting kind of punky with that, like, uh, safety pin in his ear. That's kind huh? of crazy. Well, they're holding together, not in your ear. Oh. Shh, Bill. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. What the hell are you talking? Shh. No, no, he's real. There's no safety pin. He just told you he's been doing exhaust, that's okay? Right, that's right, I'm sorry. You see stuff when you do exhaust, people. A bit, a bit that's loopy. right, you gotta drink some vodka, some scotch, my man. Water is where this big right. Pyrex. Water, tank. yeah, water, yeah. Nice okay. glass there, Toth. Thank you, Mr. Twanky. Well, gang, I'm out of here. It was really nice seeing this. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy the performance. Uh, yeah, I hope so too. Uh, I, I might be able to catch it. I don't know. I'm doing a few. You know, I'm still trying to open that bowling alley over in Cicero, and uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's a lot of legal tie-ups right now. I thought it was Melrose Park. <laughs> Melrose Park, Cicero, all those Italians, you know. <laughs> Mr. Twinkie, wh what's your first name? Uh, it's a mystery. Wow. He came right back at That's what we're known for here is our witty comebacks. <laughs> witty, witty, witty. Okay, I'm out of here. Hi, Mr. Twiggy. See you later. Good one, Al. <laughs> well, Scotty, baby, I'll give you your hat. Hey, thanks a lot. Thanks for letting me wear it. Hey, so no problem. now, in February, we're looking for, do you know the name of it or anything? Uh, it's just self-titled. So so it Girls, should be on Girls. CD and cassette in, in your favorite record store. Well, we'll be looking for it. And when we come back after this, we're going to hear the Mystery Girls play. What was the name of the song? Kiss Me or Kill Me. Kiss Me or Kiss Kill Me. Kiss Me or Kill Me. Oh, OK. And Bill, maybe you could play something for us. OK. I think everybody was on exhaust. <laughs> I kind of wish I was. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Jim Toth, and these are the Mystery Girls. And they're going to do what song? Kiss Me or Kill Me. See, now it's coming through there. It sounds like a goofball. But Kiss Me or Kill Me. That is correct. And this is Tom, and that's Aaron from that I didn't say before. And if you look at Aaron's pants long enough, you'll go blind. And I'm going to play this shaker thing. And these guys are going to, what's wrong with you people? <laughs> if you look at his pants long, thank you. All right, whenever you guys are ready, this is the Mystery Girls with Kiss Me or Kill Me. <laughs>
Girls. As the curtain lowers on Act 2, we now steadily approach Act 3, which is another part of the field outside of Dunsnane where Macduff and Macbeth do their battle with Sabus. Why should I play the Roman fool and die on my own sword? Whilst I see lies, the gashes do better upon them. Turn, hellhound, turn! Of all men else, I have avoided thee. But get back. My soul is too much charged with blood of thine already. I have no words. My voice is in my sword, thou bloody villain. And times can give thee out. Thou losest labor. As easy mayest thou the incontrant air with 
thy king sword impress my make my blood what? Let fall thy blade on vulnerable crest. I bear a charm life which must not yield to one woman door. This spell I charm, and let the angel who whom thou hast served tell thee Macduff was from his mother's womb and ultimately ripped. A curse be that tongue that tells me so, for it hath crowned my better part of man. And be the juggling fiends no more believed that palter in a double sense that keep the world of promise to our ear and break it from our hope. I'll not fight with thee. Then you'll be coward and live to be the show and gaze over the time. We'll have thee as our rare moments are painted upon a pole and underwit. Here you may see the tyrants. I will not yield to kiss the ground before young Malcolm's feet and to be baited with the rabble's curse. Uh, through Burnham Wood, be come to Dunsinane. Uh, 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 Oops. And there you have it, the third and final act of tonight's performance of Shakespeare's tragedy, Macbeth. The Schnell Repertory Theatre Company would like you to thank you for coming to tonight's performance. Let us now return to the stage for the cast's curtain call. As witch number one, Samuel Wathrop. Witch number two, Sally Kidrich. Witch number three, Charles Durning. Macbeth, Frederick Constance. Macduff, James Onar. Lady Macbeth, Jean Fortuno. And Banquo, Charles Hofkin. Thank you for attending and good night. That's the worst. Stop. Because we have with us tonight Mr. Lawrence Tillwiller. Hello, Mr. Tillwiller. Nice to meet you. Can I call you Lawrence? Sure. Thank you. Now, as you know, some of the uh, more popular television shows on the airwaves have uh, people on who come and they clear their conscience on the air, such as Geraldo, Big Fat Oprah, and so on and so forth. Big fat. <laughs> I know. But tonight, inspired by the movie JFK, inspired by the book on the Trail of Assassins by Jim Garrison, we have with us tonight Mr. Lawrence Tilwiller to hopefully shed some light and maybe find out the truth about what really happened to John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Well, I hope to try. I, that's all I can do. <laughs> um, excuse me, I'm a little, I can't see anything around this, this round. We have your face covered. I, but I can't see a thing out of it. Can you? Get that off me? Is it off? <laughs> it's off, Jim. Oh, okay. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it was probably off. Oh, <laughs> now I can see everyone here. <laughs> Sorry, I had that thing. Well, we, we, we hope to, you know, we don't want you to. <clears throat> anyway, all right. Well, let's, let's just rush right into this and hear what you have to say. All right, well, Jim, first of all, I want to thank you for the opportunity for letting me come on the show and yes, sir. for disguising me as such because it, this is not a subject I'm I guess sorry. maybe you're a little too young to know our president, John Fitzgerald Kennedy. A man who meant a lot. And there are a lot of these conspiracy th theories going on all around and about Lyndon Johnson and, and Lawrence, uh, I mean, Lee Harvey Oswald Lawrence and all. Of, Lawrence of Arabia? No, no, no. Uh, Lee Harvey Oswald. All these conspiracy Redford? theories and everyone has their own. And Well, now they came out with, a, with the Warren Commission who... All of that is made up. It's all a government plot. How about the whole garrison? It's made up. Okay. I know what really happened because I organized it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you could shed some light, yeah. Are, are you going to be needing these maps? Well, I brought along, along some um, artists 
uh, depiction okay. of what actually happened um, about, I'd say, 20 or so years ago is when I put all this into motion. And you I'll tell that? you why in, in a few moments on why I, I felt the need to kill the president. Um, but first of all, if we can show these. Okay. Right yeah. there we have the. This um, is the parade, right. the parade route. That's the route parade route. Where he went and this is where he was shot. Here's the grassy knoll. I like that word, no. The grassy no. Now and here's the railroad overpass, and here's the Texas School Book Depository. Let's stand these for just, maybe you can get up well, and Well, let me explain. This. Right, oh, let me explain. This? Sure. What happened was I hired the great Walendas. Well, let's go on to this picture then. Right. I hired the great Walendas, a famous trapeze artist group. At, at the time, I was working in the circus, and I also studied textiles a lot and a lot of um, security systems. And what I did was I developed a stealth technology helmet that they could wear and not be detected. Now, as you'll see here in the artist's depiction. Yeah, I see the Walenda brothers coming have, down upon right, the car. I had the Walendas wear the helmets. Mr. Kennedy and his wife, um, whatever her name, right, Marilyn Monroe, or what, I'm not sure who he was with, um, are coming. And they swung down above the, the automobile. Now, why could no one see them? Because I can plainly see them in this picture. Well, <laughs> well and there's no films or anything. Well, see, that's the thing. Because of this stealth, stealth technology, um, film, first of all, cannot be, even the human eye cannot see it. And as you can see, their pants were blue, and they <laughs> went in with the sky. <laughs> it was all very. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a real Please. load of crap, mister. Let me go on. Let me okay, go on. OK, do you want to go to the next picture? In the grassy no. Now, the grass, well, let's go back to here, because the president was being attacked. Are you, am I still, well, can we go back to this? Here's the railroad overpass in the Texas Book Depository, and they supposedly swung down from both of these places. Here's the grassy knoll now, and here's the picture of <laughs> what happened. I was afraid that maybe the Walendas would not get their first shot, so I thought I should have a second, a uh, defense, a second defense. And since I was working in the um, circus, I hired six, seven midgets that the I knew could hide in the grassy knoll without being seen. Are they I, standing on top of one another? Yes, <laughs> they, they, much like a pillar, and I gave them poison darts. And they would shoot the poison darts at the president if were needed. But as it turned out, the Walendas, God bless them, did a great job the first time in. I gave him a bonus, too, for that. And, um, and that's what really happened. And I wanted people to know. And I want young people to know. And I want all kinds. Mr. Tillwiller, I have, I have a, just a question for you. This, this doesn't even sound like it's real. I mean, trapeze people descending upon a parade and no one's. Bill, do you believe this? See, it can't happen. Were Let you, me. <laughs> were you doing that car exhaust thing with that band earlier? See, a lot of people ask me why. Why did I want to kill the president? Why did and you I have that? three simple reasons. And I think once you see these reasons, you'll know why. Um, there was a lot of comparison between Abe Lincoln and John F. Kennedy. The comparison between, you know, Lincoln had a, had a, a secretary named Kennedy and, and a stove pop hat. Stove pipe hat. <laughs> A stove pot pie? <laughs> no, he had one of those. It's a long story. Okay, so I discovered early on, a long time ago, that there was a lot of, of similarities between James Garfield and James Kennedy, John Kennedy. Do you, do you know the? I don't mean to interrupt, but did you hear the uh, similarity between President Lincoln and the man sitting in front of Pee Wee Herman in the movie theater? Mm, no. They My girlfriend's mother told me that joke, and I didn't like it, but she said both <laughs> I can't. She didn't say that. She said you'll use it someday. So let me please we explain. We can beep that out. I'm very sorry, but. Let okay, me please go. explain. It's, it's a very important subject. James Garfield, president way back in the uh, late 1800s, he was shot. And I had seen this. James Garfield was the fourth president after Lincoln. Kennedy was the fourth person in his Lincoln. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> the second one. M Mr. Tua, well, let me explain. There's two books more. out about these two There's things. two more. Is there a book out? Shut up. Let me explain. There's two more. First, there was a rumor that John F. Kennedy had had an affair with Marilyn Monroe. I know of a rumor that uh, James Garfield had had an affair with James Monroe, <laughs> the president who was earlier. And the last one is Kennedy had a cat named Garfield, and Garfield had a cat named JFK. Right there. I had to do it. I felt compelled to kill him. 
So you expect this to wash? Does anyone believe him? I do. Besides you. <laughs> Sounds as good as the other ones. Well, Mr. Tillwood. It's too bad all the Walendas are dead. If the Walendas were still alive, you know, we could ask them. But sure. they had fallen inexplicably <laughs> to their death. <clears throat> well, I do appreciate you taking the time to come out. Thank you very much. And uh, maybe uh, if something else nutty happens again, you can come on and feed us another line or tale. Well, I just want everyone to think. Just think seriously about what you've heard. Is that your hair? No, it's a wig that we've put on. Just so, oh, okay. so no one knows my real identity. Well, that's, you look very nice. Although we did tell my name. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, Mr. X, I appreciate you coming on. Thank out. you very much, Jim. Young William, could you? Uh, sure.